once again, Grand Rising, everybody. Grand Rising, Grand Rising. I'm gonna need for all my spiritual beings out there to hit that like button. Shout out to all my spiritual warriors. <coughs> Excuse me, shout out to my spiritual beings. My earth angels. My spiritual family. My spiritual survivors out there. I'm gonna need for all of y'all to hit that like button. If you start outgrowing people, I'm gonna need for you to hit that like button. If you got people jealous of you because you outgrowing them, I'm gonna need for you to hit that like button. If people lied on you, I'm gonna need for you to hit that like button. If people try to assassinate your character, I'm gonna need for you to hit that like button. If people turn their back on you for no apparent reason, everybody hit that like button. If you felt some days, you didn't feel like getting out of the bed and doing your assignment, hit that like button. If you ever felt like giving up, hit that like button. If you got people turning their back on you, spiritual beings, spiritual survivors out there, everybody hit that like button. Spiritual king and queens, winners and leaders, y'all hit that doggone like button. Cause we finna go in on this video. I'm gonna need for everybody, all my spiritual beings out there, to stay tuned at the end of this very video right here, my. You understand me? Y'all stay tuned at the end of this video. I'm gonna need for everybody to click that subscribe button. If you're new watching this, my name is Brian. If you're new here, my name is Brian, aka the Spiritual Warrior. And I'm gonna need for you to share this video and make sure you turn your notification bell on. Turn that on ASAP. Because every time I upload some content, you will be the first one to be alert. So with that being said, spiritual warriors and ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with the topic. Everybody, listen up. Once you start to flourish, it's going to be a lot of people that you will outgrow. Once you start flourishing, and once you start outgrowing a lot of people that you had grew up with, the people in your hometown that you grew up with, the people that you were friends with, excuse me, back, back in the day. Everybody that you had outgrew, everybody gonna be start becoming jealous of you. Not knowing you had to go through some hell in order to flourish. And that's another thing they don't understand, spiritual warriors. Once you start outgrowing people, you had to go through some pain, you had to go through some hell, you had to go through a law. But let me tell y'all this, I don't care who turned their back on you. They were never there with you in the first beginning. And God will move people away from your life for a reason. Once you start flourishing, you're gonna be, it's going to be a lot of people you're going to have to end up cutting off, whatever you like it or not. Whether it's your friends or your family, you got to cut a lot of people off because they cannot go where you are going. And that's another thing about flourishing. Once you start outgrowing, you start outgrowing your uh, uh, environment, it's going to be a lot of people is going to turn their other cheek on you. A lot of people is going to backstab you. They're going to try to make you feel bad. But to be honest with you, you're doing a good job. If anybody haven't told you, and if you're watching this, I am very proud of you. I really am. I root in for you. It would take a complete stranger like me to tell you that you are doing something right. But you got these haters out here. They want to gaslight your mind, try to make you think that you're doing something bad out here. But you really doing good. Keep up the good work. Keep outgrowing these people. Because they would never reach the level that you own. Like Meek Mill said, it's levels to this boy. It's levels to this man. It is levels to this, Charlie. And most certain people cannot make it to where you are at right now. Cause it is take it takes work. It takes skills. It takes outgrowing skills. 
You got to flourish your way up to the top if you want something. But had these people ever done that? Nope. They stared down at the bottom. They still talking that same old talk. They ain't did nothing. They ain't even put in the work. How you could be mad at somebody for putting in the work? They doing what they supposed to do. But with them, they still upset. They still mad. They still build up. They still doing that same old thing. Still doing the same old position. But let me tell you something, spiritual warriors. I don't care what that job title is. I don't care what that job position is. Your job title and your position is going to be higher than theirs. And most importantly, you're going to start working for yourself. You're going to be your own B-O-S-S. You're going to make so much money, you could be paying back taxes. You ain't got to work no more nine to five. Because you know why? You had to start flourishing. You start outgrowing these people. Even at the people or at your job, you start outgrowing them as well. And they see this. Every time you step into that room, everybody looking at you. Because they know you have grew, outgrew all of them. Every single last one of them, you have outgrew. All of them, you have outgrew. Even your friends that you had grew up with, they start becoming jealous of you. But back then in high school, middle school, elementary, man, y'all used to do some of everything together. But now you don't got old and got wiser. And now that's back in the past. Now they don't became haters. They became enemies. Your so-called friends became friend enemies. The little snakes in the grass start hissing now. You see, when you start doing good, People, they start, let this say, they be proud of you when you start doing good. But the moment you start doing 10 times, 20 times, 30 times better than them, the jealousy and the envy is going to kick in, folks. I'm not lying when I say this. Once you start flourishing, as a matter of fact, once you start doing better than everybody in your hometown, your hometown would not even accept you. Everybody in your hometown could be jealous of you. Everybody could be walking around here talking about you. But that's good. Because that means you're doing something right. And spiritual warriors, I want to say this. If you don't have people talking about you, that means you are not doing nothing right. If you don't have any haters, you are not doing anything right. But if they're talking about you, if they lying on you, if they turning their back on you, if people not speaking to you because they got jealousy in their heart, congratulations. You are winning. Congratulations. You are elevating out here. You are elevating. And these people, they can't stand it. Oh, why he got to do this? Why he got to be like that? Why she like this? Why he? Why she like that? Huh? Turn off your light. It's making me feel some type of way. Your light, your flourishing is making these people feel some type of way. And they can't take it. They can't handle it. It's making them feel stupid. Because they wish they should have had done what you had did back then. But instead, they choose to be mediocre. They choose to hang with the same old crowd. They, say, they choose to hang at the club and drink and smoke and all this bull crap. They choose to have sex with different multiple people. But with you, you choose to live by your own rules. And now they upset with that. Good. Let them be upset, spiritual royals. Let them be upset. But let me tell you something. At the end of the day, you're going to be happy with your life. Because you choose to live your life the way you wanted to. You choose to go outside that box they try to put you in. You have escaped the matrix. These people still stuck in the doggone matrix. What they got going on in their life? Not nothing. When you start outgrowing people, people is going to look at you a differently total type of way. Especially the ones in your hometown. Which means you had to pack up your bags and move to another state. 
because everybody in your hometown be had became a hater. They start showing their true colors. Their jealousy is so loud they can't even, excuse me, their jealousy is so loud they can't even quiet it down. These people can't even help themselves. Then they're looking at you with these jealousy looks, envious looks. Once you start outgrowing a lot of people, people are going to be jealous. They're going to try to compete with you, but not knowing they cannot keep up with you. Because you know why? You're about your business. You know what you got go. You know what you got going on. Like I said earlier, it's levels to this. They can't even get on your level. You on level 20. They still on level 1. As a matter of fact, they on level 0. They haven't even started yet. And the more higher and higher and elevating and elevating you become, that's when the hate become even more stronger and stronger and stronger. But every time they try to throw their hate at you, it blocks. Because they hate them shaming attacks. They cannot touch you, ladies and gentlemen. All them weapons they try to form against you, they cannot touch you and they will not prosper. You see, when you start flourishing, it's going to be a lot of bad things people are going to be wishing on you. They can't beat you, so they got to wish harm on you. They can't beat you, so they got to get other people to team up against you. But no matter what they do, they can have their little amenities. They can have their little funky, stinky cliques. But everybody in that clique is going to be so embarrassed. Everybody in that little clique is going to be so looking pitiful because they had teamed up against the wrong one, listening to a hater, listening to, to somebody who can't keep up with you. And even though they turned their back on you, guess who's still on your side? God. And God is the real boss. You may have a boss at work, but your real boss is God. And that job you, you working at right now, that nine to five, you finna outgrow a lot of people. You finna flourish through that whole company. And it's gonna cause you to start your own business. This is gonna cause you to start doing your side hustle on the side. So when your side hustle kick off, guess what? You can turn your two week notice in and you can do it with a smile on your face. And they ain't gonna have no clue what that that's happened. Why is he so happy? Why is she so happy? Don't worry about it. God fit and bless them ten times fold. You had outgrew that company. You outgrew everything in your hometown. Everybody in your hometown still doing the same old thing since 19 such and such. 1980 such and such. 1970 such and such. But you came in and kicked the door down. And start coming up with Better ideas, better plans, you even creative. And that's another thing that these people cannot stand. You got a mind of your own. You don't hang with nobody. But see, they got to hang with two, three, four, five, six different, different people every day. That's to make themselves seem cool. But you walk by yourself. And every day you walk by yourself, you are flourishing because you are putting in the work. And these haters out here, they are doing dirt on you every single day. And that's all you need right there for you to flourish, for you to grow. But you see, in these haters, my, they so blinded by jealousy and envy. They don't even know that they are helping you. They are motivating you, spiritual warriors. Because every little thing that they are doing, it is helping you. And they only destroying themselves. They throwing out all of their energy out on you. And this is why they so energyless. They so drained out. Thinking about what you doing. Every day. <laughs> every day 24-7. 24 hours. Every day of the week. They, they thinking about you. Because they know you doing something right. 
you are doing something right in your life. And these people, they cannot handle it. They can't take it. You have flourished, spiritual warriors. Every day you are flourishing out here. And your haters is walking around with that miserable, evil, hateful spirit. But the only thing you can do for them is pray for them. Pray for the ones that wish bad upon you. Pray for the ones who still hating you since last year. Pray for the ones, spiritual warriors, my spiritual beings, my spiritual earth angels. Pray for these people. Because they don't want to see you make it out here. But guess who does? God does. And that's the only one that you can count on is God. Because when it's all said and done, don't put your trust in no man. Trust in God. Have confidence out here. It's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy, trust me. All these people teaming up against you. The devil. He throwing all these little obstacles back to back in your face. These spiritual attacks. He jumping in and outside of people. That's like team up against you. Trying to make you give up. But you're too tough for that. You got God. You got the guardian angels. And your ancestors watching over you. Even your loved ones that had transitioned to the afterlife. They even watching you. So the devil. He can come all he want to. But little do he know. A little do he know ladies and gentlemen. He is finna lose. Big freaking time. You see the devil. He picked the wrong one. Now back then. You were mediocre. That's, the light, that's like the rest of them. But you had opened up your eyes. And realized. You wanted a change in your life. Like President Barack Obama. It was time for a change. And you made that change. Whatever they liked it or not. Whatever your friends or family didn't like it. That's your life. If you want to flourish, flourish right ahead, man. Flourish right ahead, Charlie. Because at the end of the day, it is your life, not theirs. The decisions that they choose to make, hey, that's on them. That's why they're still happy and uh, miserable today. Because they choose to live that mediocre life. It takes a lot of strength to become rich. It takes a lot of strength to stay outside the crowd. It takes a lot of strength to walk along with everybody is jealous of you and lying on you. It takes a lot of doggone strength to get up in the morning and got to do what you got to do even when you don't even feel like it. It takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of confidence. It takes a lot it takes a lot of spiritual warriors. This ain't for the weak. This is for the strong only. And if you watching this right now and you feel every word I'm saying, this is for you. You are strong. You are flourishing out here. You are outgrowing a lot of people in your environment. In your hometown, that is. Your whole family. You outgrew them all. You finna break that generational curse. That nobody in your family could never, ever, ever have broken. And it's funny how God put you in that family. And he put this chip inside of you. He put this talent inside of you. He put greatness inside of you. Because he know that you finna change the whole family tree. He know you finna change the whole world. This is why you been flourishing every single day. But back then, you couldn't understand why people were walking away from you. You could not understand why you were going through the things that you were going through. It's only for a reason. That season that you're in right now, that flourishing season, enjoy it. Enjoy every process of the way. Enjoy every step of the way, ladies and gentlemen. Because once you outgrow these people, you ain't going to look back. You can forget all about them. Because they're going to be left in your past. You're going to be. You finna be surrounded yourself with a bunch of winners. All these winners out here. You finna be just like them. A winner. That everybody in your hometown still going to be hating on you. Miserable. Drinking. 
still doing the same old thing. Ain't ain't nothing that gonna change about these about these people. Cause you know why? They ain't had the heart to do what you had did. They ain't had the courage to do what you had did. Let's just say for example, you start flourishing, right? And you used to had you used to have these friends since high school, right? And they see the work that you're putting in. And they don't want to congratulate you. They don't want to say, man, I'm proud of you. Girl, I'm proud of you. That says it right there. That they are not happy for you. That tells you right there. This whole time. They was a hater. That tells you the whole doggone time right there. They never cared about you. Because if they cared about you. They would have been supporting your business. They would have been motivating you. They would have told you, go out there and do it again if you had failed. But instead, they hating. They wishing bad on you. They telling you, you need to stop. You ain't never going to make it. Why are you doing this? Why are you taking life so serious? You never want to hang out with us no more. Well then, and spiritual warriors, you know what to do once you start flourishing and outgrowing these people, these so-called friends. Cut they behind off. Cut them off immediately. Like, I I'm serious, y'all. Cut cut them off. This journey is for you and you only. They can't go with you. This is why they say it's lonely at the top now. I understand why they say it's lonely at the top now. It may be lonely at the top, but guess what? You made it there. You, If not, you're on your way there. You are on your way. You are on your way. And they see it. They see it, dog, on it. That's why they're trying to brainwash you. They're trying to gaslight your freaking mind for, for peace sakes. These people, they see. They see the greatness in you. And they want to stop it. But it ain't not going to stop your greatness. The only thing that's going to stop your greatness is you. <coughs> Excuse me. Only you can stop your greatness. You can't nobody, not no devil, not no naysayer, not no any. <coughs> Excuse me, not no enemy can stop your greatness. Only you can stop your greatness. Only you, fam. Spiritual warriors. Star seeds, chosen ones, only you can stop your greatness. Can't nobody stop your progress either. Only you can stop that. I don't care how slow your progress is, long as you keep on going. That's all that matters. Keep going. It may take some years, but keep going. And that's where number success does not come overnight, ladies and gentlemen. It never did, it never have, and it never will. You just gotta remain patient out here. Keep on flourishing. Keep on outgrowing a lot of people. It's going to make a lot of people upset. It's going to make them feel some type of way. But guess what? So freaking what? Keep doing what you're doing. I'm proud of you. If you're watching this, don't be ashamed to outgrow a lot of people. Because at the end of the day, yeah, let's keep it 100, y'all. We got to keep it real in here. Let's keep it 100. All these people that you outgrowing... They were never meant to come with you do this journey anyway. Because when God bless you, it's for you only. If he built that table for you, that table is built for you only. Because you know why? He preparing a table in the midst of your enemies. And he will make your enemies your first stool. Only you. Because you had to choose to put in the work. Your so-called friends, or should I say your friend enemies, they ain't had the strength. To go on the path that you are on right now. Because they're scared what other people are going to think about them. But but let me tell you this. You say, you know what? Since y'all don't want to come with me do the next journey, I'm going by myself. I got to cut y'all off. See ya. It was nice knowing you. You threw up the deuce and said, it was nice knowing you. Now they got to watch you win. Now they got to watch you elevate to the top. And be around some other winners. Be around them other goats. The greatest of all time. 
you finna become the GOAT in your hometown. Everybody gonna act like they knew you, but they ain't wanna flourish with you. They ain't wanna outgrow the other people around them. They want to stay with them. They want to be the same just like them. They want to be mediocre just like them. They want to live in today's society rules. But you got tired of that. You know you got sick of that. That's why you start opening up your own business. You start taking online classes. You want to become an actress. You want to become an actor. Basketball player, football player, open up your own barbershop, your own beauty salon. Ladies, you want to open up a shop for your nails. This is why God put this talent inside of you. Because he know that you won't go work that 9 to 5 all your life. That everybody at your job is so furious at you. But it's okay. Just smile at them. And keep walking. Keep your head up. Kill them with silence. Don't explain nothing to none of them, folks. Don't explain a doggone thing to now one of them. They don't need to know it's none of their business. Because God is finna bless you and only you. You finna head to the top. You deserve this. You've been through so much hell in your life. Put it in the comments below and say, I have been through so much hell. But guess what? I finna outgrow a lot of people in my environment. Everybody in my hometown finna be jealous of me. But guess what? God is finna bless me right in front of these haters' faces. God is finna do something major in my life these people don't know the hell that you had to go through in order to flourish they don't know how many setbacks how many failures they don't know how many empty stomachs man i'm talking to somebody out here you had to go through empty stomachs you didn't know what your next meal was gonna come from that's how bad it was but guess what you still got you still had got up and got that strength and kept on moving I bet they couldn't do that because you know why? That's what took the easy way out. But you, you took the hard way out. And that's what being a chosen one, a star seed, a spiritual warrior, a earth being, a earth angel, a spiritual king, a spiritual queen. That's what it's all about. Walking your own journey. Walking your own path with your head up high. Trusting in God. Having confidence. Even though they may look dark right now. But let, let me tell you this, man. It ain't going to be dark forever. That, that's temporary right there. And you're putting your trust all in God. You're putting your faith all in God. And these people, they laughing at you. They may be laughing at you now. But they're going to be crying when it's all said and done. Because they never thought that you were going to make it this far. All you got to do is keep your head up and keep working, trusting in God. I told y'all before, this is not easy. This ain't for the easy ones. This is for the ones who got a lot of strength inside of them. This is one that got that faith, that crazy faith, that belief system in their in they hearts. This is for the people who got courage inside of their hearts. But these fools, these clowns out here, they ain't even got 1% belief in they. Um, heart. None whatsoever. This is why they couldn't go with you all going. Everybody can't go, ladies and gentlemen. So stop dragging everybody. Stop dragging these folks. Because they ain't going to make it. Let them be where they want to be. Let them be mediocre. Let them do the same old thing. They don't want to step out of that comfort zone. Let them be who they are. <coughs> Excuse me. Everybody can't go. Cause everybody not comfortable of that growth. They don't want to change, so don't don't make them change. Only you can change, and you are changing right before their very eyes. You are flourishing through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and even Sundays. You are flourishing each month and each day. You are flourishing. Year after year after year, you are flourishing out here. And they see the process that you are making. They see it. But they want to act and they want to act like they don't see it. Even Ray Charles, rest in peace, he sees it. Rest his spirit. Ray Charles see your growth. He see your progress. Even Stevie Wonder, he sees it. 
But these people act like they don't see it. Oh, they see it. They see that shining light inside of you. They see that shining spirit. But they act like they don't see it. But they see it. Because if they, if they didn't see it, they wouldn't be jealous. That lets you know right there they are jealous. Because they see it and they know it. You had outgrew all of them. And this is why you got to pack up your bags and go to another city that's going to support you. And watch, they're going to be feeling so stupid. They're going to be crying. They're going to be doing everything. They're going to act like they knew you the whole time. But the whole time, these people had doubted you the whole freaking time. While you were still living in your city. While you were still being friends with these people. They ain't want to help you. But guess what? You end up helping yourself. And that's what make you stand out against the crowd. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what make you a leader and not a follower. And it make them feel some type of way. So freaking what? Let them hate on you. Because they ain't got nothing going on in their life anyway. But you, my spiritual king, and my spiritual king, you finna outgrow every single, every last one of them. And not only that, you finna prove all of them wrong. Every single last one of them gonna be looking crazy when it's all said and done, folks. But with that being said, I will catch y'all in the next video. And remember, you are flourishing out here. Keep growing. Keep doing your thing. I am proud of you. I salute you. And I ruin for you. Keep your head up.